First on Fox tonight, a small airplane crashes in the middle of an intersection near Van Nuys Airport in Southern California, killing the pilot. The pilot's not being identified right now, but Fox 10 has learned the plane is registered to a Scottsdale address. Jill Moni has been looking into this live tonight for us now with more. So what have you learned, Jill? Well, this plane went down just south of the airport in the San Fernando Valley here. Let's take a closer look at the streets. As we zoom in, you can see it's just on the south end of that airport here at Van Owen and Havensworth Avenue. In fact, it happened just across the street from a 7-Eleven. It's a very busy intersection there, and thankfully it didn't hit any cars or any people on the ground. But you can see from the video that this cockpit was destroyed, and police say the pilot who died was in his 40s. Some reported the pilot was practicing takeoffs and landings at Van Nuys Airport, or touch and goes as pilots call it. But around 1 o'clock this afternoon, just minutes after taking off from the airport, it crashed. The plane is a Lance Air 320. The tail number indicates it's an experimental amateur built plane. It's linked to a Scottsdale address belonging to an ASU professor who spent almost two decades working at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. According to his bio online, he's a helicopter instructor and a commercial airplane pilot. It's unknown if he was flying the plane when it crashed. But the plane get ready to take off. And by the time the plane got there, we don't know because he like turned over on this, he turned over the wrong way. And then all of a sudden we just nose down. You didn't hear any engine, anything. The plane just nose died. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, it's Friday afternoon as well. Uh, I think the uh, citizens in this area really were very fortunate that this wasn't a much more tragic incident. And again, that pilot has not been identified. The intersection where this plane crashed was shut down for some time and traffic was rerouted today. The NTSB is investigating the cause of the crash. And again, the pilot has not been identified. Reporting live, Jill Monier, Fox 10 News. Thank you, Jill.